Alrighty folks, let's go fishing. 40 mile an hour winds, Mayport Public Boat Ramp. And what we're testing out here is my new phone I'm gonna show you. Because you're gonna get blown away. Just like the wind gusting to like 40 knots out here today. Canceled a couple trips, charter trips this, this week. Hope, hopefully be able to get in on uh, Friday. And it's a rising tide. So the wind and the current are all going the same direction. Wait till the tide turns. Coming up on the dock even. I'm leaning into it. Let's go fishing. I don't know how the sound worked out. What you just saw was some video on my brand new phone. I'm driving home from the boat ramp as it was blowing 40 miles an hour. And I was trying to uh, talk at the same time. And I'm also filming right now with my new phone. And uh, I just want to uh, pass on some little tidbit of info to you. So when I get home, I'll bust out the GoPro and then show you the phone. All right, well, welcome to the Wolf Den. So here we are at the workbench. Here is my old Samsung smartphone in the stupid case, right? And then I had this belt clip because I'm a belt clip person. The only good thing about it was is I put my business card there on the case and on the back of the case in case I you know lost this brick I hate this thing absolutely hated it now by the time you get it out of the case it's not that big that's a Samsung I don't know most of you would carry it like that I don't ever put this piece of crap in my pocket Ever. I can't put that in my pocket. I don't know how people do. So, I was always a case. And if the case didn't have a belt clip, which I broke, and right there I had to epoxy it. Yeah. This thing was so agitating to have on me. I don't know how people do it. I'm not your regular Joe here. I cannot stand carrying around this. Now, I'll show you what I'll carry. I have no problem carrying it. This, I don't like it. I don't like it because it's just too big and bulky. I'll carry this, though. I'll carry that. Goddamn 4 Max Cold Steel. I'm not in all them apps and all this Facebook connections and all that. I don't even want you texting me. Just call. Now, I'm going to show you what did that video that you just saw at the dock. And we're going to do a little comparison here. This is my new phone. Actually, this is my new phone. Let's do some comparisons, folks. That's a Cold Steel 4 Max. That is a smartphone. Y'all like walking around with those bricks. This is a relatively normal smartphone. Let's get it out of the case. Because this is all the garbage that you have to have when you're on the water. You're dropping your phone all the time. They're all dumb to me. But that's a smartphone. And so is this. There you go. This is referred to as a Unihertz Atom. Totally ruggedized. Here's a comparison. It's thicker. 
Now let's look at it compared to a folded 4MAX. Wow. I carry knives bigger than this phone. Yeah. And let's see if you go to, I don't know, let's go to an app. Here's Tides. There's Tides. And uh, what's it saying? Oh, for better experience, put on your location. Ah, screw you. I don't want you knowing what I'm doing. No thanks. So there's the Tides. Mayport Bar Pilot. Yeah, it's small, it's compact, it doesn't hardly weigh anything. It did that video, it's got a front camera, it's got a back camera, it's got a speaker, it's got a push to talk button if you happen to subscribe to that, and it's good for damn near every single cell phone carrier in the country. I think there's maybe a little something goofy with Verizon or something. I got T-Mobile. I took out the SIM card. Got a double SIM card tray right there. You can put in two different carriers and run two different, you know, two different carriers. You could have one for business, one for personal. So there you go. There's now you say to yourself, okay, Dave, that's all fine and dandy. Now let's look at texting. All right, this is my dad here. He couldn't go to lunch the other day. And I'm trying to show you. There you go. So you go in here and you say, okay, I want to text. There is the screen. It's quite responsive. I could say, um, no, lunch, oh, say I'm not good at it, no lunch. Okay, there we go, no. All right, so then I just type no lunch, or you can get rid of that. And everybody who has been texting me, I'm responding with this. No lunch. There you go. Yes, it's small. It, everything works. You got your phone. It's all super Android something something. I don't know. The latest and the greatest Android. But you've got all your freebie crap down here that I would never use in a million years. The reason I got rid of this to get this is it's small. I don't even know I have it. It's got your photos and it's got all that stuff. Let's go. To, I don't know what to go to here. Camera. Where's, where's the camera? Oh, there it is. Okay. So there's the camera filming right here. There's my hand. Let's see if we can find a photo. There's all the videos. Let's see. Let's say photo, you go to photo. Okay. I don't know how to operate this stuff. Now there's the picture from hell. Thumbs up! President Trump and Dave. Yeah. Giving it a thumbs up. I know absolutely nothing about these phones. Okay, there's Google. You can talk. Not everything is set up for just talking at it. But here is the neat thing. It's totally waterproof. What amazes me is this is a USB-C. This is what you get. You get a USB cord. You get this 
wall plug and you put it in to a USB-C. That's what my GoPro Hero 5 is. It's USB-C. And there's the plug. Alright, so it's totally ruggedized. You can, I've already dropped it. It's, it's all rubbery. It's got a fantastic texture on it. It locks out with that button. This is a fingerprint rigger right here. I'm not using it because, you know, I don't have my life on this. I would never dare to do that in the first place. It's all Gorilla Glass. Okay, but turn it on. There's your volume. I don't even know what this button down here is. Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, that's ringer volume still. Everything's still just ringer volume. This is what they call PTT. But here's the funny thing is that's open, but it's waterproof. I don't think it has a replaceable battery, but this battery lasts me more than all day long. And here is a silicone rubber sleeve for it. Very well made with a belt clip. So what do you think about that, folks? This is a fisherman's phone. This is an outdoorsman's phone. It did that video. It takes pictures. I'm just not... I don't know how to do anything with this, so I'm having huge issues getting photographs off of it and stuff like that. It's got a flashlight. It's got everything your, you know, every other phone would ever have. You got your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, here's your flashlight. There you go, flashlight. Which, you know, I don't need that because I got real flashlights, people. I got I I do real flashlights. Real. Like 100 yards flashlight. Just perfect for me. And yes, when I bought this phone, I also bought brand new click reading glasses. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, I had LASIK surgery years and years ago. And they said to me when I got LASIK surgery, what do you want? And I said, I want to see like a hawk. And it diminished a little over the years. And then, yeah, I eventually really kind of needed reading glasses because my entire site is based on and built for seeing far. Then I had a cataract in my right eye. And the doctor said the same thing. Well, we replace your lens in your eye. What would you like? You know, and I like ordered up you know, a uh, see far, not close um, lens for my right eye. I got a cataract in my left eye. It's just not very, it's not bad yet. And that's those years of being on the water, folks, without wearing the proper sunglasses. So take heed, youngsters, take heed. Always wear them good, a good quality pair of sunglasses when you're out there. Because you, too, will get cataracts 20, 25 years before your time. Most people don't even bother getting cataracts until they're in their 70s. And I had mine when I was 55, 54. So that's the belt clip. That's, there's not much else to say about it. Except this thing is completely rugged as hell. It's got a, to normal people, they call that a headphone jack. I don't. I call it my credit card swiper jack okay I mean it's got all the apps let's see here where's there you go okay let's go to here's my my PayPal my PayPal here okay there you type on it 
that's a little bit of a you know a deal so um it's got everything if you're interested in something that's rugged i mean rugged Hi, now captain dave i'm your assistant here to help you throughout your day oh. here are some things you can try saying to get started how about go the hell away bye bye according to cambridge dictionary cambridge university press go to hell used to angrily tell someone to stop talking and go away anyway it's your own fault it's your own fault really it's my own fault here's a matching video <laughs> this is total bullshit okay how do, how do i get out of that crap google knows and google knows more than they need to know about you anyhow how about that I, I got most of that all turned off. I don't use any of that garbage. So uh, there you go, folks. I just wanted to blow your socks off with something so small, so tough, so feature-filled. All right. So there's the difference. Non-rugged, not even close to rugged. You sit on this thing with this in your back pocket, you're screwed. This... I just keep it right inside my pocket, right on the pocket clip, and I'm uh, good to go. So I just wanted to share that with any other fellow outdoorsy folks. See how it's got that clip and it actually goes in behind right there? Now, of course, it's only got a little tiny spring and a pin. And you can find this on Amazon along with extra cord. Um, uh, this is what I hate about smartphones. You just touch anything and you're turning some kind of piece of shit on. So you got to turn it off. Okay. So um, it's on Amazon. I didn't order mine from Amazon. I got mine this from China or Korea or something on a different website. They're all the same price. I think I've got with the case, and it came with all this. With the case, free show, I think it was like $269, $259, something like that. I had some kind of 10% discount that's on Amazon. I'll put the name and everything on the screen. Unihertz Adam, built 100% for the serious outdoorsman. It does everything. Total 4G, the whole nine yards, whatever you got right here in an Android phone and a big, bulky, stupid thing that you got to keep in some crappy case that makes it even more bulky, you will have right here at your fingertips. Quality. Actually, I believe that this camera right there is better than the GoPro as far as the taking pictures, the pixels on the GoPro taking a single photo isn't as good as that camera right there. But it's got a better camera there, I believe, than the selfie camera thing. Okay? It does video calling. So everything's the same in a micro package. Well, now I'm trying to figure out what the best thumbnail for this would be. How about this? There's a thumbnail photo right there. All right, so thanks for watching. If you're interested, I'll put a link below in the video description to take you to Amazon where the case, the phone, and everything is located. So thanks for watching. This has nothing to do with fishing, boating, trout fishing spots. It has nothing to do with nothing. Except for now, I'm happy.